I find it fascinating this whole this this dialogue that has emerged in the United States about how far these Republicans have gone. We know that that uh, Nixon in 1968, we know this for a fact that Nixon blew up Lyndon Johnson's successful negotiation to end the Vietnam War. And thus the Vietnam War dragged on for another however many years it was, and thus many more millions of people died. As a result of it, Richard Nixon committed treason for political gain to become president. Uh, there's a fair amount of evidence, a very large amount of evidence, including the testimony of the president of Iran, that the Reagan campaign did the same thing, that the Reagan campaign entered into an agreement with Iran to hold our hostages throughout the, the election period of 1980 so that Ronald Reagan could be Jimmy Carter. So we have two, president, two Republican presidents who have committed treason to get to their office. You've got, uh, you know, is it treason or not what Jeb Bush did in Florida in 2000? It's a good question. I mean, he had Catherine Harris knock 70, 80, 90,000 African Americans off the voting rolls, which got his brother within 500 votes of Al Gore, which was close enough that they could hand it off to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court could say, okay, uh, you know, don't look at that man behind the curtain. This is all, we're all done here. So George W. Bush, Ronald Reagan, and Richard Nixon, three Republican presidents, all of them taking office by shady policies, shall we say, if nothing else. And now the Republicans are doing everything they can to not only destroy President Obama and deny him any kind of legacy, they want to make sure this guy goes down in history as worst president ever. Right? Don't ever make that mistake again. Not only are they doing that, but they're also trying to, to, to beat up on Hillary Clinton. I mean, this is a twofer, right? Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. She was involved in some of the initial negotiations here. She was the foreign policy face of this administration for quite some time, for several years. That's amazing. That's amazing. All, all of this, in my opinion, they're doing all of this so that they can win the White House in 2016. Which is no good reason to 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 betray your country, David in San Francisco. Hey, David, what's on your mind? Oh, honey, uh, Tom. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, when you uh, talk about it in that way, <clears throat> just thinking about the October surprise of uh, the end of Jimmy Carter, beginning of Ronald Reagan, that was specifically a secret negotiation with Iran, and. It, I, it's my feeling that one of the reasons why we've been at loggerheads with Iran, the Republicans specifically have been, because they never want us to have diplomatic relations because there are people in Iran that know about the October surprise and they know about the treason uh, that got Ronald Reagan uh, so-called elected. Oh, that makes uh, such so, perfect sense, David. That makes yeah, such and it, perfect sense. I mean, it's, it's just uh, criminal, and so they're they're keeping this up in order to to uh, destroy evidence. Uh, 